Recently, I had the absolute pleasure of camping at the natural wonderland that is Watkins Glen. I was super excited as this was my boyfriend's first camping trip. Despite the inexperience, we managed to set up our tent with ease. We quickly learned that these Coleman brand sticks were not the best material, as they bent to nearly a right angle almost immediately. We brought with us a tiny blue charcoal grill that was perfect for what we needed. We made veggies, veggie burgers, veggie bacon, eggs, and a whole bunch of stuff. We decided to camp at Watkins Glen primarily for the Gorge Trail. Our first day we mostly relaxed, being that we were pretty spent from the five hour drive up there. It was wonderful to set up our campsite and sit by the warm fire. And of course, our tiny blue girl. At twilight, a vibrant blue sky peeked through the dense black trees in the most beautiful way. One of the highlights of camping for me is waking up to the sound of birds outside the tent and of course some eight-legged visitors hanging around. On our trip, we were joined by a few bugs, including this wriggly centipede and an amazing robin moth caterpillar, the biggest species of moth in America. We got up bright and early to start on the gorge trail. We started at a gentle stream that suddenly plunged into a frenzied mess of cascading waterfalls. It was so beautiful. The entire walkway down the gorge trail consisted of long, winding stairs and rocky outcroppings. Standing there, I couldn't help but be overwhelmed by the natural beauty of the gorge. Just think, this whole thing was shaped by this water running over it for millions of years. Even the paths themselves were worn by the combination of water and physical forces of hundreds of visitors walking up and down its curvy trajectory. I got to see all kinds of ferns and mosses that were growing along the massive rock walls of shale, limestone, and sandstone. They waved to us as we made our way down the twisting path. The gorge was lush green in some places, littered with trees and wildflowers. gray of the rock formations were just as beautiful as the flora growing on it. The geometry and long history they held was spellbinding, especially in the couple of cave formations along the path. Walking through made me feel as though I was entering another world. Tiny micro-waterfalls dripped from high above us, adding a veil of water to the damp stone roots. There was even a part, the cavern cascade, where you got to walk under a waterfall. It was so cool! Nothing could have prepared me for the sheer amount of waterfalls on this one and a half mile trail. I've considered myself lucky to see one or two in other places I've hiked, but on the Gorge Trail, I got to see 19 of the most breathtaking falls. If you're going to attempt the Gorge Trail, I highly recommend starting from the top and traveling downward, especially if you have problems with stairs. This trail is almost entirely stairs. Bring good shoes, too. It can get a little slippery. Oh, it's pink. One of my favorite parts of this hike was at the very end, when we got to view one of the fastest, most raging waterfalls I have ever seen. And that was my trip to Watkins Glen State Park. If you've ever been to Watkins Glen, tell me about your trip in the comments below. I'd love to know what other people thought. Or, if you've never been, tell me about the first time you saw a waterfall. What was it like? If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. I'm Shayna, and I hope you enjoyed seeing the world from my point of view.